Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video, another setback for Zahara. So yeah, according to the latest report, Zahara is not feeling well and this has forced her to cancel some of her gigs. Now this past weekend, singer Zahara announced on social media that she would not attend any of her gigs over the weekend. Now this did lead some fans to sending her prayers and wishing her well and the gigs that she cancelled were two which were scheduled to take place on Sunday the 5th of June. However, it was not clear if the events were cancelled or postponed. Now Zahara posted the following pictures on social media and caption it. I'd like to apologize to my fans and promoters to share that I am unable to carry through my performances this weekend. My health has taken a toll on me and I have been advised to be on bed rest. I look forward to getting out there as soon as I am physically fit. So taking a look at the images, the first one is a Sunday session with Zahara on the 5th of June. The second one is Sunday lunch Zahara. It also appears to be on the 5th of June. The third one is for Saturday the 4th of June and uh, as you can see there classic angel bands and DJ masterpiece as well as Zahara at the Mzini Lodge. And the last one I suppose is Zahara providing the proof that she isn't feeling well. You know you kind of have to produce your doctor's list. I suppose it's the same for artists as well. You know they kind of have to produce proof that they are indeed not feeling well and can't show up for work. But yeah, if you do get in the comment section of this particular post, you will see a ton of get well messages sent to Zahara since the message on Saturday. So yeah, we definitely do wish Zahara a speedy recovery and her to get back to performing and singing. Now before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Nomkrebo Zigote and Jerusalem battle continues. So the fight over the hit Jerusalem is still raging on between Open Mic Productions and Nomkrebo Zigote. Now this past weekend, Nomkrebo actually penned an open letter insisting that she wrote and performed the song Jerusalem. Now in her letter, she made it clear that the fight is far from over. So first she posted the following image as you can see over there, Master KG titled Jerusalem featuring Nomkrebo Zigote certification date the 26th of May 2022. And this is basically a certification of gold and according to the certified unit is 0.5 million. So half a million of digital sales. The next image reads, be yourself, everyone else is taken. I wrote and performed Jerusalem in my language Isizulu. The success it has had has been recognized around the world and today it is the highest earning song in South Africa, earning gold status at the RIAA Awards. My story is far from over. I've lived an amazing life with great people who have helped me throughout my ups and downs, despite the fact that some people have attempted to dim my light and downplay my work and achievement. I am proud of myself. I know that my voice will forever be synonymous with this great accomplishment. Thank you God and thank you to all my supporters. Gazio Zalangomon. Hashtag Jerusalem. Hashtag RIAA. Hashtag US Gold Status. So yeah, that is the statement. Now for those that don't know, the fight between Nomkrebo and Open Mic Productions actually began about a year ago. In July of 2021, Nomkrebo accused Open Mic Productions of exploiting her craft. She wrote the following last year, My voice and lyrics have transcended globally, but I still wait what is due to me. I have not been paid a cent for Jerusalem despite the song's global success. I have been ridiculed with efforts to marginalize my contributions. Now apparently, Currently, Brandon Masego from Open Mic Productions refuted Nomkrebo's claims and accused her of not cooperating. Masego is quoted as saying the following, No payment has been made to either artist as yet because Nomkrebo is yet to sign the featured artist agreement that essentially records what was agreed between herself and Master KG prior to both of them going into studio. Yeah, and it does sound like there's some effects of swindling going on over there. But nonetheless, definitely congratulations to the hit song Jerusalem going gold. And I think by now with stories such as Zahara vs TS Records, it is safe to assume that when it's time for artists to get paid, debates start being had instead of payments. Our next topic, Bonang being trolled for her looks. 
Now, before we even get into this particular story, I want to say this right off the bat is that one thing about Bonang Mateba, she has a very loyal fan base. Now, the businesswoman, entrepreneur, TV presenter is currently getting trolled on social media for her looks and people are having a field day with it. Now, all of this seems to have stemmed from a popular Twitter user who dragged Bonang about her looks. So a user on Twitter posted the following pictures and captioned them, Megan Good, 43 years old, Bonang, 33 years old. And underneath there, we've got the side-by-side -side pictures, so a 10-year gap and the pictures there, over there. And uh, look, judging by the number of likes on this particular post, it seems like quite a few people do agree with what that user is kind of alluding to. And taking a look at some of the comments on social media, one user wrote, Bonang is becoming Tuli Matonzela. And if you scroll there a little bit, you can see a picture of Tuli Matonzela and uh, <laughs> Bonang Mateba. I kind of do see it. You know, when you got the pictures there side by side like that, yeah, no, I see it. But moving right along, another user wrote, Bonang is beautiful, to which another user came through and replied to that and wrote, Bonang should just stick to weaves. I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think of this picture of Bonang, I'm assuming without a weave, with her glorious hairline out and about. But jokes aside, you know, personally, I do think that Bonang is indeed gorgeous. And like I said earlier, her fans definitely did come to her defense saying that cyberbullying contributes to mental health problems and that people should be careful of what they say about others on social media. One user even wrote, I'm disappointed in this comparison as we might not know what Bonang is going through, resulting in the way she currently appears. There are a lot of chronic diseases and depression that most people are faced with and should not be mocked or abused on social media platforms. Which yeah, I definitely do agree with what that user said another user wrote and also ageism is always directed to women exactly why miss usa committed suicide to say we are hard on women aging as if it's a disease we are a toxic society that picture is not a true reflection of who bonang looks like there's a recent video of her that's her another user wrote coming for bonang's facial features is low that woman looks good she's evolving growing and that's what happens in life she won't look 25 for forever she is mature and aging is a part of us all we will love her even in her 50s now there was a user who called out people for using injections to make themselves appear younger than what they actually look like that user wrote but it's not just makeup people are getting filters injections and facelifts to chase this looking young narrative and some people don't have the funds and the proper access to those things look personally when it comes to all the makeup the filters the injections i personally believe that it is a person's it's not my face it's your face if you want to do that you have the means to do that by all means definitely do do that and i also definitely do not subscribe to cyber bullying or physical attributes of bullying someone else but yeah, apart from all that negativity on social media, Bonang was actually recently showered with some sweet words from Andy Lengube, who is said to have been the one who discovered Bonang. Now, in an interview with the Kings of the Weekend, Andy Le narrated how and when he saw Bonang and why he decided to give her a shot in entertainment. Now, apparently, a young Bonang was auditioning for the lotto, but her age could not allow her to present. So, Andy Le saw that as an opportunity to scout her. He is quoted as saying the following, I don't want credit for doing my job my job was to find the best co-anchor for this show and i found it the accolade is in what she is doing that is my remunition she needs to do better for me to even feel better and lastly he added that she is the best of our time now apart from that andy Lee also wrote the following on social media love speaking about her if i ever write a book at bonang will be a fulfilling chapter now Bonang actually replied to this and wrote, I love you so much with some crying emojis. Look, regardless of what people are saying up on that Twitter app, one cannot deny that Bonang is truly a talented entertainer. And just like that, we have reached the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.